Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and today it's a very special skincare Saturday because in this little package I have henna cure. That's right everybody, you asked for it, you're gonna get it today. So after that video where I asked for your guys' help, went on to good old hennacure.com or whatever the hell it was, I ordered the single pack, just the one time use, because I figured if we like it, if we think that this is something that we should do more often, because I was toying with, well, why would you get the four pack if according to all of those crazy Instagram ads and Facebook ads and yada, yada, yada ads. If those ads are true, one time is all you need, right? However, when I was doing a little bit more research on their website, there are definite benefits to doing this more than one time. Hence why they sell the four pack. But I just got the one pack from this one test, we can all collectively decide if that's something that we should test out in a future Skincare Saturday video. So yeah, let's get to opening up this package. I'm so excited. It was on back order. The thing is, is on the website, it did say it would ship on a specific day. It definitely shipped on that day. And I wanna say I got this like in my mailbox two days ago. So it just came in like a bubble wrap. I clearly did not open it until I was on the YouTubes with you guys because I wanted everybody to see. Dun, 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 dun. More bubble wrap. This is called the All-in-One Facial Starter. Here is the box. Very cute, very nice, minimalist packaging. I kind of dig it. Ah. Ah. Protect beauty, restore purity. And this on the front says henna cure. I say henna, maybe it's henna. I say henna cure, it just flows off the tongue better for me. It's formulated to help target your skin concerns and deliver immediate visible results. And I know that's why we are all here today. We wanna see if that is true because those commercials are in Sane. And I just want to know if it's true. And I want to know how long lasting these immediate visual results are going to be. Or how, how lasting they're going to last. That's what I want to see. This all-in-one facial starter kit I purchased for $29 plus shipping. They do have the four. It's the all-in-one facial set for $110. If you go to like, I guess it's under like the science tab, it does have what results you will see in X number of days. Day one is the baseline. Day 14, you will start to see 37% reduction in your wrinkles. By day 28, you will see a 75% reduction in your wrinkles. It also has a chart on hyperpigmentation. By day two, you see a 6 62% reduction in your hyperpigmentation. And by day three, you see a 68%. So to me, it seems to do a lot better on hyperpigmentation than it does on actually reducing the amount of wrinkles you have or do better in less time. And they do also say, they suggest that you do a face mask. I want to say it was like every third day maybe. So that's why it would make sense to get the four pack if you're trying to go for a full 28 days. That's the logic behind that. That's kind of the point of my story. If we decide that after one use, we think that I should try a four pack, I will be more than happy to do it and do like a 28 day test just to see the longevity of the effects that we're going to get. Now, according to this, this one pack really seems like a waste of $29 if you ask me. I don't think that we're gonna see anything terribly drastic after one use. I don't know. We'll see. It's definitely going to be interesting. I will give it that. I know you guys think it's going to be interesting. And we get a little pamphlet here. Transformation starts here. Okay. Cleanse and dry face before using. Pair the solution with the lifting serum. We must use all of the contents after opening. Oh, this says use once or twice per week. I think that's where I got the every third day situation. We only have one, so we're going to use it one time. It's the 
faintest fucking writing on here. I mean, really? Expect intense tightening sensation within 10 minutes or less. If applied close to under eye area, you may experience gradual pulling effects. This is normal and only temporary while the mask is working. If your skin is fairly light in pigmentation, you may experience temporary redness of up to 90 minutes. So if you are gonna do this, probably before bed is a good time to do it, not in the morning, right before you're trying to go to work. This is due to an increase in blood circulation as our purifying compound and CO2 octolift work to absorb impurities while restoring your skin's flawless appearance. So then there are how we get this going. There's step one, step two, step three, step four, and step five. Let's review packaged quite nicely. I mean, for $29.99, this isn't a bad packaging experience. The box is very nice. Everything in here fits perfectly. There's no way anything could break. So we get our little gelling solution. Oh, this is in here tight. Come on. I might just break it, trying to get it out of here. What is this? Lifting serum. That's what this is. And that is a glass container. And then we have our little applicator brush. Cute acrylic handle. Bristles are soft yet firm. So that's all that was in this box. So step one, it says we are supposed to align our thumb with downward arrow on cap of the lifting serum, then carefully pull all the way back. We align our thumb with that arrow and then pop the top. Beware of sharp aluminum edge on this puppy. It doesn't say on this puppy, but it would be cute if it did. I was just noticing that this is like this, but there's a whole backside. Look at my bone. We have what it's supposed to do, which I'm sure we can be reading while I'm sitting with my face in a mask. Peel the corner foil of the gelling solution back to the dotted line as indicated. In bold, it says don't open this all the way. Pour all contents of the lifting serum into the gelling solution to create purifying compound. Reseal by firmly holding the corner edge of the gelling solution. Shake vigorously for 20 seconds. A gel will form. Then we are supposed to take our little brushy thing and it says apply gel evenly to face, neck, back of hands. May use sparingly under the eyes, but avoid direct contact with the eyes. So I think what they're saying there is they don't want you to stab the brush into your eyeball. Just go around the eye. I think that's what they're saying there. It also says avoid direct contact with lids. So don't put it on your eyelids, although it would have been nice because I need a, like an eyelid lift. Or don't put it on your lips either, it says that. So no eyeballs, eyelids, or lips. Leave on for 20 minutes until gel dries completely. During all that, we are supposed to... <laughs> this one's going to be tough for me, guys. We're supposed to minimize our facial movements to maximize our effects. I can fan my face to increase intensity. Then I rinse my face, neck, and hands and brush thoroughly with warm water. So those are all of the steps that we are supposed to do. How it works. Contaminated skin. Our skin and pores are contaminated by impurities and pollutants. Mixing the lifting serum and the gelling solution creates a purifying compound designed to absorb impurities, toxins, and other contaminants in our skin and pores. The CO2 octolift fuses the purifying compound, allowing it to transition from its currently liquid state back to a solid state. This resolidification process creates a strong binding force, producing an intense lifting and tightening effect while absorbing all of the impurities trapped in your skin and pores. A thorough rinse washes off all impurities absorbed, revealing smoother, clearer, and brighter looking skin. Lifting and firming effects work with peptides to combat other signs of aging, giving you a flawless looking complexion. So there you have it and there it is. Hennicure. Let's wash my face, take some before pictures, and put it on. So I've washed my face, my neck, as you can clearly tell by the collar of my wet t-shirt, and I washed the back of my hands, even though they're usually washed just from washing my face and neck, but I paid it close attention to washing the back of my hands. I also have taken a before photo of my face as well as a before photo of my hands. We're good to go. Let's go. We take 
this little guy. I wonder if you have to shake it. I just kind of feel like we just shake it. Okay, so thumb is aligned with arrow. Okay, that's a little bit difficult. I'm not gonna lie. That actually kind of hurts my skin. Oh my God, seriously? Okay, I'm using my fingernail now. Oh, chimney Christmas. Okay, we may never, oh, there we go. That's what happens. That's difficult. Beware of the sharp aluminum edge. Carefully pop off top. Okay, so carefully do that because I can tell it is slightly sharp. Okay, so that came right off. Don't spill that liquid gold. Now for this, it says, peel the corner of the foil, pour all the contents of the lifting serum into the gelling solution. Okay, so there's just a little dotted line you can kind of see from there to there. I can't really see what's in there, but it made a little hole. And now I'm gonna pour this into this. Come on, why isn't it coming out? Oh, there it went. So all of that is now in there. So I gotta kind of go like this, firmly hold the corner edge because I'm supposed to vigorously shake for 20 seconds. Okay, I'm holding it really tight. Shake, one, two, three, four, five, 11, 12, 13. Oh, I'm counting way faster than seconds go. 19, 20. Let's just do a couple more for good measure. Okay, oh, tired. Now, we are supposed to open the solution. Okay, this is interesting. You see that gel? Ooh, there it is. Interestingly enough, when I was shaking it, I didn't hear anything, no liquid or anything like that. So there's our gel. Now, we take our brush and we apply evenly to face, neck, and back of hands. It just kind of looks like not completely set jello, if you ask me. Okay. So evenly, just painting it on. We're supposed to do a nice even layer. It's hard to tell how much I'm going to use up, but I wanna use it all. Ooh, let's get those forehead wrinkles. You guys better not blink, cause you might see shit instantly happening before your eyes. Come on, 11s. Get the, oh, not on my lips, but I wanna get around them, that's for damn show. I have this much left, and I'm supposed to do my neck and the backs of my hands. I don't know about that. Okay, that's pretty good and even on my neck. Let's even out the shit on my face. I'm only gonna save like the barest minimum for the backs of my hands. I have about that much left. I'll try to do the backs of my hands quickly. I'm not gonna go to my fingers, I don't think, right? Just the backs of my hands. I have a tiny, tiny bit of a bit left. Just that much. Gross feet. Eleven. Very in that lines. Okay, I think we're good. Now we wait. 20 minutes. Here's the thing during these 20 minutes, I'm not supposed to be moving my face all that much, but I do want to just sit here in silence so that you can see the tightening effect. So I think I might just go get Animal Crossing and then just sit here for 20 minutes and not move my face. 20 minute timer starts now. Okay, it's literally been five minutes and it's definitely getting tight around my lip area. For sure, I can feel it like almost pulling down and together. The backs of my hands are kind of pulling and getting tighter. I don't know if you can see that, but definitely right here, it's definitely tightening and pulling down. I kind of maybe feel tight like right around here, but look, you can kind of see where it's like pinching up the skin. Kind of crazy. I wouldn't say it hurts, but you can feel it pulling, which is what's very interesting. And you can see it. Look at it and right here. It looks like it's kind of drying and tightening in my eyebrow. Maybe it's like getting dry on the end of my nose. Oh my God, but my lips, seriously, pretty soon I might not be able to talk. My neck, Feels like it's getting dry and starting to tighten, but not nearly as bad as my lips. And now we are eight minutes in. I'm just gonna keep this going. Okay, we are now 10 minutes in and shit's are really starting to get tight. My neck, 
definitely this side of my face more so than this side of my face holy moly and that's interesting like are you seeing like red splotchy and then really dark splotchy that's pretty weird too are right the backs of my hands i can feel it more and more and it's kind of funny because you can really feel like a really intense like really tight at some certain phases as it starts to really dry <laughs> like a second tight 12 minutes in eight minutes to go oh my god look at my forehead this is crazy. Like that marionette one is almost all the way gone. That's so weird. Fifteen minutes down, five minutes to go. I can barely move my mouth at all at this point. It is really, really tight. All in my neck. Clearly you can see around my eyes, my mouth, super tight. Look at no marionette line, barely any forehead lines. Where did my eleven go? Got my hands, five more minutes. I'll just sit here some more. I feel like I really need chopstick. Less movement for a maximum results. Okay, that's it. It's been 20 minutes. So it's not dry like right there. Ay, ay, ay. But it's like pulling my eyes down so much like they're getting watery because they're so freaking open and pulled down. Let's just fan it. We gotta get that shit dry. There's my hands. And then what are we supposed to do? Rinse face, neck, hands, and brush thoroughly with warm water. But it is starting to crack. This is so weird. It is so freaking tight. Let me warm up the water and then we gotta rinse it off and take the after pictures. I look scary. Like you should totally do this for Halloween and just for 20 minutes, just open your door and hand out candy, just like this. No costume required. I wish I could stop. I'm smiling on the inside, but my face is so, it is so tight. I have never felt anything like this before. So let me warm up the water and rinse it off. Okay. Face is washed, I should say face is rinsed, and after pictures are taken. It was quite easy, not, not like so easy. It was pretty easy to just rinse off with warm water. Um, it wasn't any harder than like rinsing off any normal mask. It was definitely easier than rinsing off that freaking pink Himalayan clay mask. That was way harder to get off than this. Here's what I notice immediately. I do, after rinsing it, and I haven't put on any moisturizing cream or anything like that, feel a little bit of a tingle in specific places. And by tingle, I mean someone poking me with a little bit of a pin. Just like in certain places, it feels like I'm getting just poked with a pin, which is interesting. I do think immediately, while I didn't notice too much on the back of my hands, I do think, and maybe as I don't have it rinsed off all the way. Okay, okay, no, seriously. Look, you guys, do those look like way shorter, way lighter? I mean, don't in my normal everyday life, every time you guys see me just cram my face up here, don't my lines go way longer down? It looks less deep, right? And this one looks like it almost ends like clean up here and not down here. Okay, now this is crazy. My 11 doesn't look that much less deep, but the actual forehead wrinkles like right around the 11 do look less deep, like right dead center bullseye of my forehead, right? Don't you think? Crow's feet kind of still look the same. Nose wrinkles kind of look, I think I'm most genuinely impressed with the marionette lines. That's crazy. Now, who knows if this is gonna last until I even wake up in the morning, but I do kind of feel like, I don't know, like 
Maybe do I look a little bit better? More youthful, more glowing, a little bit more smooth. My skin feels hella smooth right now. Aside from some redness on my neck, like I think where I stopped it, you can tell where I stopped. I don't know if I notice any less wrinkles in my neck, but I definitely do see something in my face, faux show. I can't really tell if there was any difference in the coloration on my dark spots or not, if those are any lighter, but the overall glow of it all, really, are you, seriously, are you kind of not impressed with the marionette lines right now? Like, look, no, really look again. I'm not gonna say they're not gonna pop right back in the morning. I'm not gonna go that far. I will let you know in the morning. We are not gonna end this video here. We're not gonna say, oh, that's great, done. I say I check back in, probably not in the morning because tomorrow's a work day. So probably after work, I'll check in. And you can see for yourself if it even lasted like a full 24 hours. But what I'm thinking right now, what's going on in my head, if you like had to go to a wedding or you were going out or you know had a nice evening planned or I don't know, just wanted to look like refreshed for one evening for sure, do this 90 minutes before you gotta be somewhere. Well, actually 90 minutes plus 20 minutes. Like do it a couple hours before you got to be somewhere at the very least $29 just for that because seriously I kind of do feel like my shit's tightened up at least for the time being we'll find out tomorrow exactly but yeah manicure one-time use okay really as of right now this minute I'm like kind of really impressed and it kind of makes me want to buy the four pack so that I can try it for 28 days but the four pack is $110. So I'm gonna let the excitement wear down a little bit and I'm gonna move into reality tomorrow when we see if this actually lasts until at least another human being can see me during the day. Okay, how's that sound? I'll check back in tomorrow, but for tonight, hell yeah, I'm really digging it. I think it's looking pretty, I mean, seriously. Agreed? Tell me if I'm wrong, just tell me. I'll see you after work tomorrow. I'll see you in about 24 hours, let's say. Okay, so it has officially been approximately 24 hours. I went to bed and then I woke up this morning and went to work all day. I did not wear makeup to work today. I just washed my face and put a little light moisturizing cream on. So when I first woke up this morning, I felt like you could still see remnants of the tightening from the henna cure. But now that I'm home and it's like six o'clock at night, I feel like they've dissipated. Although, like, I don't know, maybe this one's going away. We really need these to even themselves out. I'll just tell you that right now. We can't have none and then one line. What are we gonna do about that? <laughs> But point of the story is one application of henna cure is not something that you can rely on for a long period of time. And I'm going to say, I think that's why they sell that four pack so that you can do this every three days. And then hopefully over that 28 day period, your face will just continue to get tighter and tighter and the wrinkles will go away. I'm not going to lie. I'm fucking intrigued, dude. Totally intrigued. There is a ginormous part of me that does want to bite the bullet and spend the $110 on the little four pack. I think they have a moisturizer and a cleanser as well. I don't know, what do you guys think? You think it's worth the money? I'm just saying. But then too, I'm worried like, okay, so I spend 110 plus dollars, do it for, and you know, every three days for the 28 days, whatever the hell, and then my face looks great or semi-great, but then what happens after the 28 days? Is this something that you have to keep using for the rest of your life once or twice a week until you die? That's what I don't know, but again, I'm still intrigued. And I bet you're intrigued too. Everybody's intrigued. This is crazy. I thought this might be some sort of a weird Instagram gimmick, like five minute crafts. <laughs> But I'm gonna say, I don't think that it is. I think that it does kind of work, at least for the one time, which makes me so curious about what it would do over a longer period of time. I might have to bite the bullet. 
Not like right this second, but maybe soon. What do you guys think? Would you try it? Would you try it the one time? It's only $29 the one time. Not that the one time is gonna do anything. That's the thing. Now I'm like, they got me hooked on that one time. And now I just don't wanna get Cindy Crawforded by them. That's the only thing. Like I don't wanna shell out the $110 and then have, you know, nothing more happen cause I'd be pissed. But golly, am I intrigued. I will tell you that right now. So there you have it. Henicure. We did it and I'm kind of digging it. I can't get over what it did, the feeling of it, what my face looked like when I rinsed it off. I don't know. Stay tuned, you guys. I might, might have to purchase the four pack. Maybe, maybe I'll ask for it for Christmas. I think maybe I'll try that. My friends or family can spend their money on it and then I'll get it still. So that sounds like a good idea. Put it on the Christmas list. So 2021 four pack henna cure coming your way 100%. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the skincare Saturday videos I push out, which are every other Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out. Cause it's not dry right on my 11. We gotta get that shit dry.